Uh, it sets itself automatically for Obra. Obra is an 18 plus game. Okay, I'm just gonna do it anyway, just in case it doesn't. Or at least it should. Yeah, it hasn't for me, so I'm going to do that itself. Hi, Carnage. Um, switching to game. Have you finished Pure Faction yet, Carnage? Are you on the top 100 yet? That's it? Or did you start doing all the rooms? We've played six hours and got 36 fates. That's six fates an hour. So that's one fate every like 12, six, 10 minutes. I've only got five hours and 15 minutes. You were two or three minutes in the other one because you were looking for the prologue and then we realized we could have gone back in the book. That's how that happened. Okay, so we have the escape. Paul Moss, we still don't know who killed. Why am I in this one? Uh, I'm gonna just gonna uh, go back to the beginning. Because I thought that was the beginning. It's not. Right, so, lose cargo. Samuel Peters was crushed. Unidentified stowaway was crushed. In two, we had. Solomon Syed succumbed to a tragic illness. We had Renfred Rajub succumbed to a tragic illness. Then we had a large cow was slaughtered for its meat. <laughs> <laughs> Part three, murder. Nanzio Pasquas was knifed by Edward Nichols, second mate. But Hong Zen Lan was framed for it. We're very much enjoying it. We would say don't use a guide. Mm. The TA ratio oh God, yeah. is very low for this game because everybody's using the guides. It's yeah, well worth actually not... experiencing and trying to be a detective. Exactly. And guessing occasionally, though Jesse doesn't like that. But it's an educated guess. I didn't say anything against <gasps> the guessing. I just said <laughs> at the beginning we said we would not guess. And then what we've been doing is taking these guesses. These slight but... le logical leaps. Oh, yes, but I mean, it's been based on knowledge. It's not like we've just gone, oh, yeah, he looks kind of Russian. Let's just give him this name. It's been like, wow, well, you know, wait, wait. based you on the evidence. Wait, wait, wait. we the three Indian gentlemen to fit which one died of an illness and the other two got whatever happened to them? They were friends. They were there in the scene. They were talking <laughs> to him. That was logical. Hi, Leaky. Um, so yeah, so Hoxander was framed, was shot by Henry Brennan in the firing squad. Timothy Butman was shot with a gun by Edward Nichols. Edward Nichols is not a good person. I'm fairly certain he gets shot in the end. So the calling. So someone was spared by a terrible beastie. We don't know who they are. Patrick oh, right. Hagen was spared by a beast. terrible beastie. Yes. It is a beast enemies. because Patrick O'Hagan was a beast, yes. So we still don't know who this do. Well, I think it's a red herring, like the other locations. So we still don't know who he is, and I guess we could see he's in four memories. He was there for the murder. And he was there at the beginning. But I don't know if we can really, you know, see. I think he's probably going to be a process of elimination at the end. Uh, Patrick O'Hagan, we were fairly certain about him. Stuart, Samuel Gallagher, second mate Stewart, was knifed by Ben Ibensay. Uh We thought he was strangled, and then it real we realized afterwards, like in one of the other memories, he had a knife in his side, so that made sense. O'Hagan, we guessed because of the O'Hagan, you're still breathing yeah. thingy. Um... Bunan Lim was clawed by a terrible beastie, as was an Ipang side burned to death. Um, Edward Nichols was shot by Chiao Tan, probably because he kidnapped all the other guy, uh, all the other uh, Frozens or Formosans, and got them killed. And then we've got an unknown soul who fell overboard, and an unknown soul was drowned by a terrible beastie. 
but we don't know who they are. But one of them is Hitler. <laughs> um, and then we've got Unholy Captives. So we had Chow Tan was spiked by a terrible beast. And then an unknown soul was spiked by a terrible beast. I don't know who they are though. Uh, Taurus, Thomas Sefton was spiked by a terrible beast. Either that's not right or he's not Thomas Sefton. Because by this point he would have been confirmed. The other person I thought he could have been was the purser. But we can look at that in a little bit as well. Yeah. He's got so, the, the knot on his neck. He has the knot, yeah, but why did we think he was the... Um, was he along with the rest of the people during the... Oh, the I think cow? I know why. I think I know no, why. Because he was there for one of the conversations about, oh, I could fry you up something. Yes, exactly. That's why. And he's obviously not the cook, though. Um... I don't think he's the ship's steward. Maybe he was just, you know, prevaricating. I've got the person down as someone else, but that doesn't mean it was right. Um, we can see where we put, where you would put uh, Duncan. Maybe he wasn't spiked by a terrible beast. Or that. Yeah, maybe we should go back and look at him. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's you want to go through the rest of the stuff, though? Or what we have? I will. I just want to find out where it is. It's on the gun deck between the two sets of stairs. Um, okay, so then we had William Wasim fell down the stairs, because that one we thought he was spiked by a terrible beastie, and he wasn't. He got pushed down the stairs. Or fell, or um, lost his footing. Or, it wasn't well, I mean, clear he that was he actually got pushed. with the stretcher, to be fair. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then we had an unknown person torn apart by a terrible beastie. Oh, oh yeah, this was the one that we talked about, John. Sorry. I didn't have anything for him, so. Uh, torn apart by a terrible beastie. Oh, okay. I made an assumption because he was missing his arm or his leg. His leg. He was missing part of his leg. Oh, but I didn't oh, think he had lost that it from a beast. It looked torn to me. I thought he was attacked I mean, was by the, the steward, based on the, the speech. I don't know. I don't know. Either which way, we have no idea who he is yet. But that was the one I that mentioned John. In. Yeah, fair and enough. I didn't, I, I didn't agree with your, your logic there, but yeah. That's okay. You don't have to. So we should check on him as well. Sure. He's on the cargo deck. Because uh, we may have a few more people, it may make more sense. Um, we've got the electrocuted guy. He was hit by lightning. Um, then we've got someone who was speared by a terrible beastie. This was when we had those spider monsters. He was speared. It was not pleasant. Right. Um, oh, the carpenter's mate, oh that's confirmed, was sp spiked by a terrible beastie. Uh, the surgeon's mate was decapitated by a terrible beastie, and someone else was also decapitated. We don't know who they are. Um, yeah, Charles Hershtick burned to death because he was one with the terrible beastie at the time, I believe. Yes. Amir Lofara the butcher was spiked by a terrible beastie. Um, and then we've got John Naples Seaman was shot with a gun by an unknown attacker. We may know the attacker now. That's on the all up deck. No, that's the guy that died. Yeah, we weren't quite sure what happened to him. We Wait, need to trace him back person? like we did that I other think guy. This is minor. Or John what? Naples? No. John Naples. Yeah, the John was from that other one where it said John. Not confirmed. Yeah, I wasn't sure because of his outfit, I think, was the problem I had with him. As yeah, I said, it his could, outfit it, it, matched the other, um, like, stewards. Yeah. That was the only be. thing that had me kind of unsure. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that also makes sense. It could be, actually. 
Um, but if we go to the, the memory that you think the guy got torn by the terrible beastie, we can look at who was being dragged away. That wasn't who was being dragged away. John was just there, I believe. Okay. This was the this was the guy that had died in the side thingy, and we yeah. couldn't see uh, what was going on. So that's unconfirmed anyway. Yeah. Um. Then we had a hideous monster perished, taking down the carpenter. Then we had the doom, which was when the kraken came in. Lars Linda was clubbed by Nathan Peters randomly. Why not? The artist was crushed. So was Abraham Akbar with a loose cannon. And we had Christian Wolf Gunner and also someone else who was blasted with a cannon. I wonder if this is the gunner's mate, if we've not... No, it's that we've already done the gunner's mate, so it can't be. Because he's not even there. What are is the it? positions we have a lot of? We have a lot of... I don't think he's a topman. Um... I mean, as a seaman, right? I think it was more of that it could have yeah. been the gunner's mate rather than anything else, but obviously the gunner's mate somewhere else. Um, and it's not crossed out on that list, so it's not a guess. It was a confirmed. Uh, then we had third mate Stewart crushed, Roderick Anderson. We had the midshipman blasted by the explosion. And we had this tattoo guy who it seems to think we've been able to name like from the very beginning. Yeah. Damned if we can name him. He was yep. torn in half. Yes. And That's who had... I thought was the French guy. But yeah, on the other yeah, hand... We had used the fact that your Frenchman had been torn apart. Yeah, but what if? this was the only if... person who we really found was torn apart. Uh, yeah. Unless it was this guy. Or... That guy. Or... That guy. But, anyway, we don't quite know. So, um, yeah. And then, then we have the wife who was crushed by rigging. And then we have, oh yeah, that's not, that was me, um, making assumptions. Uh, <laughs> what did you put his name as? Maba. <laughs> I think I was right. just clicking on things. Uh, Nathan Peters, he is definitely confirmed, but we don't know what happened to him. It's definitely him because he clubbed that other guy. I don't know why we know it's him. Yeah, I forget. It must why have been because he was named in one of the names. There was something. And we don't know what happened to him, though. He may have fallen overboard. Um, we also have... Uh, yeah, that's not... That's another one I was just being silly with. Um... That's no. I thought we, we had a good, we had a decent logic there because we said that there were, we we didn't have a lot of people who fit what we would have guessed was somebody from Sierra Leone, and that was kind yeah, of why okay. we were thinking Fine, that, was that that was Hamadou. Okay, I'll leave that there then. Yeah, for some reason we thought he's the purser. We don't know. We don't know what happened to him either. That was an assumption. Oh, that's uh, where you don't know who that, that is. Guy. Yeah, that's where I put Duncan. This one, I said, was Finley um, because he, he was stand stand the standing by the wheel. <laughs> and he was speared in one of the other memories. Um, the, He was like... He yeah, was in one of the he, other memories, yeah, but... Yeah, he had a, he was, he had a spear in him. In yes. one of the other memories. Yeah. Well, there was no death scene, but it looked like he was speared. Yeah, he's in the wife's memory. We should probably go and have a look around that. Yeah, we might be able um, to find I'm, a lot So more I put there. it in there so I would know. I yeah, I put that one in there so I would know that he was the dude that got the spear in his leg. No idea who this person is. So that one's still unknown. Henry Evans. And then we have the escape. We've got the bosun, and he mentions the French guy yes. torn apart. So, the option is that one of these people could be the French guy. It could be this dude with the, you know, the knot. He could have been torn apart. You know, I mean, we made the assumption he was the purser, but it is also possible that he's the French guy. 
and he was torn apart. Um, because we know that he had to die before this guy died. So that was why. And that has to be... The French guy was his was the bosun's mate person. Right. So, yeah. Then we had Paul Moss killed by an unknown attacker. We I don't believe we know who that is either. Um, We've looked at that person. We just weren't able to place who it was yet. Yeah. So... This guy. Oh yeah, I was gonna say we've we've got. He was we, shot by a gun later. Yeah, we, we um, know what happened to him. Yeah, I, we I was gonna say who where, shot him. Where, where, yeah, yeah, we we've got two people in this one that we still haven't named. Um, so yeah, so then this one was shot by Emily Jackson. We know that because we confirmed her name. Correct. Um, the gunner's mate. There we go. He was the gunner's mate he was shot we followed this entire so yeah there was like the whole below deck thing because we could try to find out what happened to that guy the knifed guy yeah and in the process we figured out this was Olius uh, and then we found out he was shot by John Davis John Davis was clubbed by Henry Brennan uh, Olius had knifed Thomas Lanker which was why John Davis shot him Yep. I don't know why John Davis was clubbed. <laughs> I think it's because Brennan is one of the ones that mutinied. Uh, I think John Davis was a good guy. Um, so then, yeah, this is the dude that was like, oh, my, my friend, Pete, I tried the best to pull him back. He was the guy that exploded. <laughs> so we figured out him. And then we figured out that the four people that disappeared must be alive. And then we figured out they were in Africa because you found them in, like, Cancun or something. I can't remember what it was. It was the, um, so uh, then we got the ladies the right way around. The preface said that Henry Evans was in oh, Morocco. Oh, Morocco. That was it. Yeah. And then we just guessed so that the other three must have been. Process of elimination. Like yeah. Process of elimination which way around these two women were and I said that had to be the fourth mate steward purely because of where he was standing in the picture. <laughs> um, and then we had the end where the first mate mutinied and was shot by the captain along with Henry Brennan who was knifed and some dude got clubbed we don't know who he is though I don't think he's fuzzy anymore so we might yeah, be able to fuzzy. work out who he is where is he in the photo? Oh, uh, he's there. the dude at the back yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then the captain shot himself because his wife was dead and, she, and he killed her brother Oh yeah, that was it, and that's why how we figured out <laughs> that the, that was the first mate yeah. here, because that's the brother, and then that's the end. Then we've we've got quite a good progress. Yeah. So yeah, right. We were going to go and see if we could figure out what was going on with. Was it this? No, that was no. We don't care about the boat at the moment. The boat was annoying. Um. Right. We oh, were going to see I think if we, we could... said something about these people who all disappeared in the doom. Was that it? That was one of the things. We were going to go to Abigail's memory. We could do that. Okay. We could do that now because we're like right by the cabin, so we could go look at Abigail's memory. Because then we can see if we can figure out what happened to them. At the door. <laughs> but yes, um, Carnage, Little. we've been really loving this. Martin! Where is the cat? Oh, yeah. By process of elimination, we figured out who Martin was. Have you lost your mind? Get back inside. I want my husband. I want some volume. What have I done to my volume? There we go. It's because I've got the washing machine on. I'm hoping everyone can hear everything. Right. So, we have forgotten how to ah right Abigail we have Abigail we have actually your helmsman looks to be almost being pulled by the Kraken possibly we have the third mate who's Martin that's how we figured out who Martin was right okay so we have 
up on the uh, top deck. We have the first mate steward protecting Emily, Emily and, uh, and Jane. Jane, yeah. And we have this guy. Gunner's mate. Ah, the gunner's mate earlier who's shooting at the Kraken. Well, there's some water up there. Can I get up these steps? No, nope. I tried. But yeah, like right to your left there. Oh wait, can you go up those steps? No. But yeah, on the no. railing there. Oh, hang on, there's someone up here. That That's... might be the helmsman. He, it makes sense because he's <sighs> near the helm. Yeah. Okay. So he has. He has basically been. It looks like he's being. <sighs> he's been pulled overboard, drowned by. Terrible beastie. Oh, no, crap. Not an unknown officer. So he was he was there for part set or seven part eight. Where is his other memory? I don't know. I couldn't see the little dib. Because he it says two memories, right? I know, but I couldn't find the other dib. Oh, there's on the, the map. other one. Three part oh. three. He was there he was, for the murder. He was there for the murder. Yeah, because so that was the one he was speared in. Right. So he didn't die from the spearing. It looks like he no. died from. He, I think he was probably pulled overboard and drowned. Or he was torn apart. One of the two. But he's definitely up there. With the terrible beastie. Yes. Um, it doesn't so look I like I put his... terrible beastie on him. Yeah, I don't... Doesn't look like he's being, like, ripped. I would assume no. he gets ripped. Like, it looks like he's about to... He's gonna lose his leg first. Either that or he lets go, and then he gets pulled overboard. And then so something terrible beastie we can yeah, always change something it. Something beastie right. related. So this guy is torn apart. Why is he fuzzy here? And who's this? He's the guy that was clubbed by Wittrell later, so we know what that happened. Aha! Hang the, on, we've the got some guy? other people. Uh, He's the guy that got the turned torn in half. That's the bosun. That's an unknown guy. He could be the French guy. Because I had this torn apart dude as Charles Minor. The, um... And the bosun's right here, so he would possibly be worried about this guy as the Frenchman. I think yeah. that's a very logical assumption. Or, there's this guy over here who's going to about to get pulled off the rigging. I'm going to say drowned by a terrible beastie as well. Just purely because of what looks like is about to happen. Um, but yes. I think he had his arm ripped off, so... This one we could say torn apart. By a terrible beastie for now. Oh, no, not an unknown officer. An unknown officer did not tore him apart. Name him Charles for now. So that at least he's got a name. We can still say something else later. I mean, are we going... He's French because he's got a stripy shirt on because... I'm going with <laughs> French just because of the fact that there's the bosun and he seemed worried about his Frenchman. Yes. <laughs> only... Also, he's got a stripy shirt! <laughs> I think other people had stripy shirts. I know, I know. Seamen have stripy shirts. Uh, yeah, I know. Alkesh, I'm sorry. Also, hi Alkesh and... Thanks, Leaky. Glad to know everyone can hear everyone. And yeah, can yeah, Colonel Mustard in the knife with the candlestick in the kitchen with the candlestick. Yeah, I always do with uh, with Miss Scarlet in the conservatory with the revolver is my favourite one. Um, okay, so yes, it could be that. Can you see anyone else anywhere? Um... So this guy either torn apart or pulled overboard. But we still don't know who he is. Looking up to see if I see anybody. Uh, guy on the rigging, definitely going to be drowned. Or torn apart. Or torn apart. That's the hard part, really, to tell, is yeah. we don't see their point of death. No. Well, we don't know what happened to them, that's the point, we have to guess. Um, yeah, this guy who's very fuzzy, so maybe we can't figure out who he is yet. 
being pulled away by someone who got club later, so we don't need to worry about them. But no, I can't see anyone else in this. Although, here's the thing, like, if I walk up to that fuzzy guy, the other thing about him being fuzzy is I can activate my watch on him. Okay. Why don't we do that? Because, I mean, there's nothing else in here. Yeah, I think we're good here. I mean, he's fuzzy... Well, okay, now it's a bit loud. Yeah. He's fuzzy because he's got a death memory. Yeah, not because think, we can't maybe. identify him. Possibly. It could be that way around. Yeah, that was just a lot of screaming. Yeah. Fuzzy guy makes me think he's a muffet. Sorry, Leaky. <laughs> It's just the tattoos. Oh, that's a little bit graphicer than I wanted. <laughs> he's just randomly sitting at the back. He's no one important. He's sitting by a topman. Uh, is he sitting near the guy that was electrocuted? Because I'm wondering if... Oh, wow. Hmm? Oh, whoa, what, what, what? Oh. Torn Apart Guy's memory. memory. Yeah, Torn Apart Guy's memory has a lot of people that we might be able to. Cool. That's great. With. I'm just trying to find the electrocuted guy to see if... Because I'm wondering if these are all Topman at the back. So he could be a mead. We don't know what happened to him. If he's a topman, then he could be... I mean, he could be Maba. Oh, no. I, I, I did think he was Leonid for ages, but I don't think that worked, because it was not... Um... I don't think it worked. But anyway, I'll just leave it as that. And we've got this random guy who's... Clearly some English dude. Nicholas on Lewis. Oh! He was Nicholas. <laughs> I guess three more fates! Nicholas Botterill was spared by a terrible beastie. Uh, Charles Minor was torn about by a terrible beast. We got him right. And Finley Dalton was drowned. Boom. Ooh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, this I one? was yeah. So I was in the memory, and I was going right. This one here, Topman, sitting next to the tattoo guy, is Nicholas. We got it. Yeah, because I was trying to figure out who who they were. So we still don't know what happened to this guy. Um, because I was just assuming that. I'm wondering if this one's Lewis, then, if he's also a topman. So we know who the bosun's mate was. That's good. Yeah. You, you got the Frenchman right. He was the guy with the, um, so the here's, stripy shirt. Here's the next area <laughs> I was thinking we should look at. Oh, yeah. So I, I, I still haven't looked anywhere else in this memory other than that tattoo guy. So, right. Who have we got here? So We've got oh, the guy that was shot with a gun. Oh, yeah. That is really gruesome. We've got a fuzzy guy down here. Oh, the exploded guy. We've um, got the fourth mate. So our sword guy here. Yeah, he wasn't. He didn't die in this memory though. No, so but what I want to point really out is this. I really care if they die in the memory. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I've seen that uh, on your screen. I I just wanted to see if I could find anyone else. Right. I was so if we go who back are these? a memory. I can't zoom in close enough to find out who any of them are. I thought we had gone back a memory. So that's the bosun's mate. Yeah, oh we no, we've gone one. forward a memory. No, we went forward a memory. No, we went back. Ah. Yeah, we're back one Someone memory. Someone was dragging ha the half guy. He's not dead in this one. But if we go back one more to the Peter Milroy death, which is we have... this one. Yes, Peter, I know who Peter Milroy is. So I'm going to jump into the Peter him. Milroy death. 
Okay, cool. I'm just having a, a look around to here. To see if I can moment. find those three dudes in a boat. Dudes in a boat! Dudes in a boat. It's Clestor. Yes, because we saw the one after this, because Clestor was getting attacked, and Charles was going to die. Right, so this is Melroy. This is when Melroy explodes. Yes, yeah, so we did eight, seven, and now six. Looks like that guy's falling overboard. Ah! Cool. Boom. Yeah, so that is Peter Melroy. Yeah. It's Velody. So. Oh, hello. Who have we got here? Got the fourth mate, and we've got. Oleus. Can't get down those stairs. We've got Tattoo Guy. Who we did see on the rigging, which is why I wondered if he was a top man. Ah, we've got this one. Yeah. He... Drowned? I'm gonna guess he probably drowns. Yeah, but I'm... Oh! Oh yeah! He totally drowns, Unknown Beast. I've got three more fates. Okay, so, Omid, Ghoul, Top Man was drowned by a terrible beast. Mabba! Tattoo Man was torn apart. And Lewis was clubbed by Captain Warren. <laughs> and I got an achievement because I solved the last one in that. Um, in the, in the, the final chapter. I found out who the guy was that was clubbed. So my process for that one was, they were all sitting at the back, therefore they must all be top men. And I named them. That guy. He is... Lewis? Lewis Walker. It was the other English guy. Because <laughs> Nicholas was that guy, so it had to be him. Yeah, the end. We got, we got all fates in chapter 5. Well, they were all top men at the back! It, it it was just process of elimination there. Sure. And also Persian and something or other. Yeah. So that, that at least solves him now, because he was annoying me. So we've got a whole bunch of top men there. So now anyone that's in my book and is wrong, is named, is wrong. Because otherwise it would have come in. So I'm going to go and unname... Oh, so no, this confirmed. guy, we still don't know him. Uh, part, uh, part not escape part three. Yeah, no, we don't know him. Um, I haven't guessed him yet. He's probably Russian. We do, Paul Moss. We don't know who killed him. If we him, get that other we guy, we'll get him. this guy. Yes, because he's the guy that killed. Right. So Paul Moss was killed by this guy, who was then shot by Emily Jackson. Right. So yes, we need to figure out who he is. Um. Uh, we have nothing for the bargain. We can't ha really have anything. Uh, none of these So people. this is not Hamadou. Oh, no, we don't know his fate, so it could be Hamadou. This guy was drowned. This guy... Yeah, we could. these could be right, but we don't know because we don't know what happened to them yet. We haven't found them anywhere in one right. of the memories. We need to go through the Doom, I think, like we've been doing. Yeah. Um, and that was kind of my idea here. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm agreeing with you. So, I think this is Nathan Peters, so yes. I agree uh, enough then... with you there. Yeah, so, well, I mean, I was agreeing with you that it's a good idea. Um, cool. So, is there anyone that is named and fated because they're wrong? No, I think I've just done some names. The only one I'm kind of not sure of is this John Naples one. Yeah, but I mean, we can go to his body. Yeah, well, that's because we don't really know what happened to him. We thought he got shot. Because it was really shot. hard to tell. Yeah, but we we don't I, we may not know. It was hard um, because you couldn't see it from both sides of that scene. Yeah, so either this is body, not. Yeah. Um, you couldn't get across the wall to see who shot 
from inside the room. Yeah. So we'll this have to one go is either not that. the cook or not spiked. So we should do the whole gun deck between the two stairs and have a check once we've done the doom. Um, because he's not right, but I don't know whether he's not right because of his death or because of his name yet. Right. Um, and I think everyone else is either confirmed. Yeah, everyone else is like confirmed now. Uh, okay, right. So that one fell overboard, was drowned by a terrible beastie. Who's this? This is Thomas. Um... Is there anyone else around that we could determine a fate for? So just and did we find the, the lifeboat? Because um, that's what we were looking for. Not the yet. lifeboat. I will, I, just looking at the list um, of the important people or of the named staff. So we're missing the third mate, Martin Perro. Mm, I've got him, Do you have him named Martin? somewhere, I'm sure. We think that is Martin Parrot. Ah, we don't know how he died. Right, sorry, different thing. Yeah. Yes, that is correct. We don't know um, how he died. The cook, Thomas Sefton. We currently have as this gentleman. And we yep. think they were sp spiked by a terrible beast, but that could be the error there. Yes, that could be the error. Um, um, Duncan McKay, the purser. We do not have... We well, we kind of do, because he has a tie on, but we don't know what happened to him, so... Yeah, he he's just a guess. Um, and then we've got Dungi Sathy. Yeah, no idea. Ship steward could be any of them. Uh, the captain steward Philip Dahl. Uh, we know. Well, we think we know we who he is. But we don't know what happened to him. Right. Yes, he's the Swedish dude that got dragged off in the memory with the John mentioned. Right. Paul Moss killed by that dude that we don't know who he is, who was then shot by Emily. We have four and unknown then... Chinamen. Yeah, one of which got electrocuted. Yes. But unless we want to start guessing, then we've got that's the three not Russian. Really. Now, here's the thing: there's only one Russian who is a topman. Yeah, we should find out the electrocuted scene and see if one of the Russian-looking people is in there. <laughs> well, the thing is, is that Leonid Leonid Volkov is he the guy who we think killed the steward? Paul Moss. I don't know. Because Why do we think he's a topman? What? Oh, because he was there for that scene, and I would have assumed he would have been up top. I thought topman meant in the rigging. True. I have no idea. No, but we can always try filling him in later if we need a, a, a guess. Uh, Hamadou uh, Diom, we think we know who he is just based on an assumption of... Yeah. What He's people look like. Black guy. He's the only yeah. guy who looks to be a black man on the boat. So, um, then we have Alexander Booth and George Shirley. Yeah. Also, we've got John Naples, who we don't know who shot him, and Nathan Peters, who we don't know what happened to him, based on previous things. But. John may be wrong. It was just based on that scene with the legless dude. So I think we're in agreement, though, of which one, of Amadou being that the African-looking guy. I think so. Yeah. I think it's a worthwhile guess at this. Point. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'm just gonna have a look, see if I can see any more dead people in this, and then we go back to part five, I guess. Do you happen to know offhand who's triggery part five? Because I can't see the boat. So, uh, my thought was is I'd go back another step. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I just don't know who to trigger off. Just, I was who just died in part in, five. Um, I'm gonna do. Ah, okay. I mean, we could just assume they were all drowned by the beast if Who's we've got three upstairs? people and we had three There's people in the boat. Oh, it's Olaf and the mate guy. So, but the block this the memory itself was what. Um, part six. Yeah. So who we'll who died back. in part five? Uh, Roderick Anderson. Oh, we need to go below ground. So we'll have to come out the door and then go uh, find the dude that got crushed by the cannon. Yep. See if we can go upstairs. Because that's the problem. We can't go upstairs. We don't know who was in the 
Ooh, I've got to go out again. Girl, that was all from from um, Abigail. Right. Uh, cannon. Ah, I found the wrong part five. <laughs> <laughs> Bear with me. I'm at the wrong end of the ship. Oh, behind me. That's part three. There we go. Roderick. Oh, that's the spike dude. Um, come back to him. Where's Roderick? Um, go towards the other end of the ship, I think. Uh, or is that it? Yes. Ah, yeah, got him. Let me up the stairs, you idiots. Um. So that's Roderick. Okay, this is Peter and Thomas who are blocking the damn stairs. Great. But, I mean, it could be that if there are three people in that lifeboat and there are three people we don't know what happened, we could just say that they were drowned by the beast as a default and see what happens. That's Akbar. Well, my other thought is, is can we see anything through the windows? That is Martin Parrot. I can see tentacles. Yeah, I can see a lot of tentacles. I can see the Russian guy that was shot. I can see the gunner. This is an odd place to let me wander in. No reason. Really nothing back here? I guess so. Okay. So who are we going through next? Part 4. Which is Wolf, which is the guy standing by our Russian dude. Oh, is that the part before it? <laughs> uh, where is, is he in this memory? Yeah, that guy on the floor there. Okay. He is one with the other guy. Right. Eighty chunks. Yeah. That's Akbar. That's Henry Brennan. That's Lewis Walker. Maba. That is dude is now cowering under the thing. By cowering under the cannon is the guy that we the Russian guy. Can't even see any stairs. So there's no stairs in this one. I'm going to go back another one. Which one are you going back to? That one there. Okay. Three. It's Akbar. It's a random dude that gets crushed. Along with Wolf. Brennan, Lewis, another Russian guy. So, if he is. I'll be right back. Leonid, then Paul Moss was shot by him.
How's everyone doing? Oh, and also, hi, Dan. Sorry for agreeing lots. I guess it's good that we agree, though. It was if we didn't agree. Okay, so the other ones, I think we'll find out who's on the boat when we go back up to part one. Uh, okay. Because I don't think Edward Spratt's going to give us anything, so we should go upstairs and find Lars. Okie doke. Well, I think it was one of the dead people off the... Um... One of the bows. No, that's Moss. Oh yeah, so I, I, I made the assumption that he was Leonard, by the way. Also now, now I don't know where the... Where's, where's Lars? Right ah, here. you found him. Right yeah. Uh, he's over, um... Uh, aha! Alright, I see him. Yep, yeah, I see him. Cool. Let's have a look in this. Yeah, because he's there on the boat. That's why I'm assuming that they're the ones that fell off the boat. So, Nathan... Yeah. Hamadou... And... The Purser. So I'm gonna go with... Drowned by... a. Beast for Nathan. Oh! Hey, something worked. I got escape. Solve all fates in chapter 9. Alright, so Nathan was drowned by a terrible beast. Paul Moss was killed with a sword by Leonard. Oh, I And Leonard that. was shot by Emily oh, Jackson. Oh, you put them as... Okay. Well, I'm also in that... I'm literally standing by their bodies in this one. I, I, I was literally standing by Leonard and thought it had to be. Um, so that means that Hamadou also was drowned by a beast, as was guy that has a book, so, you know, could be the beast. Uh, could be the purser. So those three, yeah, Lars wanted on the boat, Nathan took offence to that. I don't remember why we thought he was Nathan. I can't remember that discussion. Okay, he no, he is definitely Duncan because he that one filled in for me as what? Duncan. I had put Duncan before I had filled in the the Paul Moss one. Oh, cool. Good to know. He is definitely Duncan. So we're one away from another then. Yeah. Let's go let's go find out what happened to the spiked guy. Because he's one we thought we knew who's the cook, and then it didn't confirm, so it might be his death that we got wrong. He's uh, this one standing between the two stairs on the um gun deck. So go down one of the sets of stairs until you find two sets of stairs together. One going up, one going down. So I think it's the other end of this deck. And he's just, like, lying there. Yeah, he's that guy there. So if we can find out what killed him... Because we made right. the assumption he was the cook based on what he said. It 
it does look like he just got whopped in the face. Struck? Struck. By a yes. tail? Ooh, yeah. Uh, didn't fill it in. No. Damn it. Okay, what else could it have been? He has a fork, though. Go, Tom. Uh... Yeah, I tried all of them as well. Clubbed by a beast. Nope. Clawed. Crushed. Nope. Fell down the stairs. Nope. Knifed by beast. Bed. Biked. Still like struck by a tail, but maybe he's not. Hmm. He can't be the cook then. This is a shame. Stewards. We're not guessing. He's literally there. We're trying to figure out what happened to him. That's not a guess. That is just what does the stupid thing want us to do? Now the midshipman. Chipman, who's this guy stomping off? Steward. He is really having a hissy fit there. Um, um uh, and Wasim. Okay. <sighs> Don't know, what do you think? Thinking of maybe something else, but I don't see anything. Hey there, what's this? Give them to me and I can fry us a solid meal, boys. I mean, sounds like the cook to me. Standing by the butcher. Surely. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what we're missing about this scene. I mean, what are we saying happened to him for sure? Well, I mean, there's blood flying out of his mouth. He's falling backwards. He's dropping his spiky fork. And that, I mean, that looks like the tail. Which looks like it's got blood on him. Which is why we went with spiked. I mean, I can it go with struck by the tail. Confirm. Yeah, but it also... You're going through the names as well, aren't you? I'm thinking... I'm just looking at them. Trying to think if there's one. I don't think he's no. the third mate, no. I no. Thought, we thought he was Sefton. Yeah. <sighs>
this throat being slit? It's really hard to tell. <sighs> thought this would be easier to tell. Some guys on the top deck. The doctor. And his mate. The two spiked guys. Now here's an interesting thought. So we got these two guys here. This photo. Yeah. They're next to Seaman Patrick O'Hagan and Seaman Henry Brennan. We only have yeah. two English seamen we don't know yet. Are we what gonna if... guess again? Well I'm just <laughs> wondering if one of if those two guys must be English seamen as well. Because we've only got Alexander online. Booth and George Surley. Okay. And one Doesn't of those guys is holding the chef did. Yeah. Um Okay, well I'm going to go with Booth for the Hitler guy. Neither works. Not right. Oh, neither works. Okay, fair enough. Although, what did we say happened? To fell overboard to his death. I mean, the other possibility was he drowned. Let's go with torn apart then. The torn apart guy is neither. Yeah, I don't know what. Unless one, unless one of them's John Nape. No, nope. unknown. Hmm. I mean, the other op the option is that we're wrong. Oh! I guessed Hung Lin got executed. Uh, electrocuted. Oh, our electrocuted I thought, friends. we only got three Chinese people. Oh! Thomas Sefton was struck dead by the beastie's tail. And Duncan McKay was drowned. So it was the Sierra Leone guy that was wrong. Um, Where was sorry, the electrocuted elect guy? Uh, I mean, he was. I was going off the photo, so I don't know offhand. That guy. Go back. Sorry, go back. He's the first part one in the, the next chapter, in chapter oh. six. That one. He is Hang Lee. Because process of elimination, um, I was looking at the photo. So, Hang Lee. And was like, he's a Chinese guy. 
and he he happened to be off. where I was looking. So he looks Chinese, and there were three Chinese topmen. He had to be a topman. So there we go. That, okay, that was end of where I went with that. Escape but it, it is, is. We at least did get that build. one right. So. Which parts have we not? I don't know. I'm getting out of this memory. Four, five, six, seven. Okay. So yeah. Um. Can't do eight. Seven. So... We're missing at least. Oh wait a minute. Um. Hamadou didn't fill fill in for me. I know he didn't fill in for me either. So he's either wasn't drowned, which I don't think is right. So he's not Hamadou. So I'm taking off Hamadou. I think it is Hamadou. Okay, well you do that way. I'll do my way. Leonid. So that's another Russian guy. Who's the other Russian guy? Wait, he's in this memory. I don't know if he is. I exited the memory. I'm looking at the picture now. <sighs> oh wow, there's a lot of people above deck. In that yeah, memory. I know. I went up. He was helping carry the thingy. Yeah. Dad's excited because we're disagreeing. Yeah. I'm just glad it was the cook. Just need to figure out what was wrong and then, yeah. Yeah, so we need to do the guy that had the John memory. Wait a minute. Seriously? One of the... The mates is not dead? Hmm. I think so. Unless it's in the missing chapter. Died? Well, unless it's in the missing chapter. Because no. he's sort of... Ooh, maybe. I'm gonna go and see the dude that got shot by someone. The one that's moldying in the little corridor. I'm going back into his memory again. Okay, was that the third deck or the second deck? Second deck. No, third deck. That one that you're on there. Okay. I will find my way over to that dead body. Yeah, it's round there and turn right. So I thought he was, he was John. No, you are utterly correct. We actually oh, hang on. There's that guy. Klepsol has a gun. But it's not the one that's firing. Is that Charles Minor? I don't know. Is he alive in this one? He's got white pants on. Could be. Because all the others... Definitely doesn't look like Omid Ghoul. Are they the only ones that have white pants on?
I mean, which memory are we in right now? Seven? Six part seven? Part seven. Yeah. So if we go back to Emil O'Farrell, we could see who else is... Oh, and does it say who's in this memory? Yeah. Yeah, of course yeah. it does. It, and that's who you were looking at. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, no, it's fine. I didn't... Emil's I wasn't there, following what you were saying. But the only, like... I don't know if it's Nathan Peters either. <sighs> it's not a Oh, wait, sorry. Wrong I said, he's not wearing a term. No, I, the only other person in there is Charles Minor, so I reckon it is Charles Minor then. Yeah, I'm going to go with Charles Minor then. Okay. Based off, we've named all the other ones. We've named all of them now, so it's easier to see. Yeah, there's no way that person has it. I think he looks a bit too... ...big for the... Yeah, I don't think he's got a turban on. No, he's not got a turban on, so it's not Omid. And I don't see where Omid is. No, but there are lots of windows. Yeah. And there are a couple of people we can't... Oh, I... Th no... Found the gunner and the gunner's mate. Yeah, but what are they doing in that room? Getting guns, I think. I think they're getting guns or swords or something. Uh, I'll go back to um butcher guy who's in the last window before the doorway. Part six. Yeah, it also makes sense because Clestal is getting his gun filled up at the time as well. You can go down the side and see Naples. Sort of. He has been stabbed. Yeah. But it doesn't look like you can get into the compartment where that fight is going on here. No. Nah. And you can't go up a deck or down a deck. And you can't go far enough past where he died to see through the window either. So, if anything, we'd probably need to go back to part five, maybe? No, because part five part is five. Charles Hurstick, which I think we can actually jump into here. Yeah, he's dead on the floor. Maybe that'll open up the second. So there's... Yeah, we can see the other compartment in this scene. And the other person... It is Charles Minor. Yeah, so that's gotta be Charles Minor who shoots him. And 
And we've got the unknown soul who is decapitated. And we've got this guy crawling off, John Naples crawling off with a spike in him. But he was eventually shot by Charles, so that one we know, so yeah. I'm jumping into the one where the two guys got decapitated. Well, I, mean, I would guess that this person is one of those three. Is he? I don't know. I mean, he's a Chinese person. They're all topmen. I'm going to leave it on G for now. The other Chinese. That one there who's speared. Billy. Way. No. It does look like Charles did set himself on fire as well, though, because he's thrown throwing the lantern. Oh, I found a mead. Marcus. Went up a deck. Which memory are you in? Two decapitated people. I went up a deck. Okay. Oh, and there's where mine gets spiked. Name. Not mine, John. What? Mine is the dude that shot him. Oh, yeah, John Naples. Yeah, we need to go... I, I, I want to go into the memory with the dude with the missing leg where the uh, Swedish guy gets dragged away. Okay, uh, where's our door out? There it is. Um, behind the guy throwing the lantern. Except that I don't remember where that d memory that was. <sighs> ah, I d it's down the stairs again. And it's the, the the shoe beside the stair. Ah yes, the shoe. The missing foot. Maybe John's the guy with the missing leg.
No? I mean, we think he's a seaman. Yeah. I think he might be the John. All's fine, John. And what? Is he... Who is this guy, then? Dunno. He's there. An unknown steward. Not an unknown officer. Unknown potman. Um, he could be Alexander Booth. George Shirley. He looked important, though, didn't he? Because he had the... Yeah. Uh... He's near the other stewards. Unknown steward, then, but... Things triggering. Were we at three that we thought we knew? Possibly, but obviously not. I'm going to see how many we have fully filled right now. I don't think we can fill in Philip Dahl as yet. I mean, I was putting in random Chinese dudes, so, you know. <laughs> right. Oh, I triggered accidentally. I got a Chinese dude right. So, Wei Li Topman was drowned by a terrible beastie. Li Hong Topman was speared by a terrible beast. And Ji Zhang Topman was decapitated by a terrible beast. I got the Chinese dudes! So this one was which one? Um... Sorry. Wei Li? Um, Yeah, that was Whaley. Okay. Um, the the other guy that was decapitated was Ji Zhang, and then there was one final Chinese person somewhere. I don't even know where it was. I was just looking at the Chinese-looking people on the picture. <laughs> Sorry. That one. It's on the open sea. Uh, part one of chapter four. That is Li Hong. Sorry. It's okay. We're not guessing or anything. <laughs> well, it's now down to process of elimination, you know. So who have we got left in chapter four then? Oh, thank you for the host, tag lady. Um, ah, the disappearances. Chapter eight's a complete mystery, and chapter seven, we don't know what happened to this guy. Or well, we don't know who he is. Chapter 4 is just the two disappearances. We don't know what happened to them. Chapter 7, part 4, the guy who was blown up. We've got a, the spiked guy. Uh, Currently we don't know about this one. Oh, he can't be an unknown steward. He has to be a known person. Why? Because I had all of his other parts filled in. 
was shot with a gun by Charles Minor. If I had gotten the first two China, Chinese men right, oh, yeah, then if he was be. an unknown steward, we would have he would have filled in. That's a good point. But he was also not um Who do we have Alexander Booth and George Shirley? Or it could be John Nepals. What else do we have? We've got the unknown soul who was blasted with a cannon. So are we with this guy still being Philip Dahl, you think? Oh, it's definitely Philip Dahl. Okay. He's the only Swedish guy, and he was talking Swedish. We just can't do anything with him because he's in the Lazarat, and it's locked. I'm just gonna randomly name Russian people, the Russian looking people. <laughs> I mean, we're almost there. There's not that many people left now, are there? No. Seaman Lars Lind is also carrying this down. This guy who got exploded. It's a s guess that he's a seaman. But which one? Alexander or George? He have hung around with the. Hmm. Don't know. Like my guess is, is that these four guys have to oh! be seen. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just solved. It. Okay, the the one we thought is is it's the Indian guy, Zung. Sati. Wait, he was Indian? <laughs> yeah. He was a he was the only steward left. I just didn't think he was Indian. Yeah, well, it works. But you don't have the other people that I got, so um I got one of the Russian guys. Right, so that is Zungi Sadi in the port walk yep. there. Um That's not John Naples. 
That is Hamadou DM, the guy that was spiked with Chow Tan. Okay. And then, oh, this is the Russian Alakas Nishiki. <laughs> and that solves chapter six. Yep. Ugh, this is really terrible tea. <laughs> We're down to, like, one page of names. Okay, so six is done. But which chapters do we need to fill in? Four, Four. and five. Four, five, and seven. We've got one person in four. Okay, in seven, we don't know what happened to the guy we thought initially was Amadou. But he doesn't look like any of the nationalities. What if he's the unknown seaman? I said I put him as he didn't flip. I'm just filling in names. See what happens. Part wasn't four, unknown, unknown. we have this guy. The only one, it's like Martin, Perrot, and Philip Dahl, I'm 100% sure about. So we have four named people. These two guys. Is it just four things that we've got left to fill in? Um. We've got this guy. I just filled in John Naples. I don't know what happened. We didn't really fill in a cause of death either for him. Uh, five, part four. Thank you. We don't yeah, know. I've got torn apart by a terrible beast because it it looked like he lost his leg. I'm still in that memory. I mean, he's lost yeah. a leg. But I was thinking that it was that. Uh, oh, maybe there's a sword here. Maybe it was Dahl cut off his leg. So he was... Ah! S no, not struck. Killed with a sword by, by Philip Dahl? Where's Philip Dahl gone? Uh, he's way down, number 28. Yeah, we have four people we don't know. Yeah, um, we have four names. Yeah, four names in the book, to, or fates in the book. Yeah. Oh! Hitler's Russian! <laughs> He's like filled in. Tupper off. <laughs> that filled in chapter four. It is John Naples, and he was killed with a sword by Philip Dahl. Solve all fates in chapter thingy and chapter thingy. As to who the other one was, I don't know. Um, let me just go back to the table of contents. And Martin Parrot still unknown. Philip Dahl's still unknown. I've not got Booth and Shirley. I only had two there. So we've still got this person, the, dis the disappearance in the doom. And I thought it did it in threes, maybe right? Maybe close to the end, it doesn't. That is really confusing. Okay, so. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so we just got to figure out these two guys. Okay, so the unknown person was blasted with a cannon. We know he was blasted with a cannon. 
Alexander Booth or Judge Shirley? Going with Alexander Booth. Okay. And then at the end, and is then at the end of that chapter, is Lord this Shirley. guy. But I don't think we can do anything now because it did it on two. And and then unless they're unknown people. It has to be drowned because he was in the boat with the other people who drowned. So I think we've got to leave the ship now. Nope, it's the reverse. What? Oh! He's Booth. The other guy's Shirley. They just did it on a two. Yep. Ah, there we go. Right, okay, cool. The doom is now... Oh, currently solvable fates, correct. Boom. There's nothing left to do on the Oberid Inn. Oh, we're totally going to finish this tonight. Right. Okay. Why can't oh. I exit the book? Oh, there we go. There's nothing left to do on the Oberid Inn. Let me oh. through to the door. Where's the door? Uh, Where's you gotta the door go, on this one? Go, go around that hallway on your right. Huh? Go down that hallway on your right, and then when you can pass behind everything. Ah. That was on my left, not my right. <laughs> no, it was to the right. It was to the left. From what I could see of your, your position, it was on the right. <laughs> okay. So I think we okay. can go into the boat, or go to the back yes. of the boat. I'm just going up many, many steps. Right, okay. okay. Yep. Oh, this is exciting! We should go. Storm's nearly about, so they won't be coming back. Uh-huh, I'm in. Oh. Ticking. Finally, sit down so you don't fall out. <laughs> oh, and thank you for the follow. Um, Bellarom. Sweet, we're gonna nail this game. This is kind of awesome. Lots of great educated guesses. <laughs> yeah. Well, we basically got everyone else filled in, so... Ooh, one week later. The Honorable East India Company, 1807. Insurance assessment for the good ship Oberadin, victim of calamitous events at sea. Prepared by the Company Office of Investigation. Ship, damaged in squall, Atlantic, sunk in storm, Falmouth, Payment claimed twenty thousand pounds. Cargo. Cargo company. company or all cargo lost. Payment claimed five thousand pounds. Cargo crown. All cargo lost. Payout claimed for restitution three thousand pounds. Captain Robert Whitrell, fate suicide gun, criminal findings, murder of crewmate four, estate forfeited to the crown. William Hoscott, first mate, fate shot. Gun, Robert Witterall. Criminal findings, attempted mutiny, estate fined, 25 pounds. <laughs> Edward Nichols, second mate, fate, shot, gun, C tan. Criminal findings, murder of crewmates, two. Attempted mutiny, theft of cargo, estate fined, 100 pounds. Martin Perra, third mate, fate, unknown, findings of merit, extraordinary valor, exceptional performance of duties, a state awarded outstanding wages and reward, 90 pounds. John Davis, fourth mate, fate, clubbed by H. Brennan, criminal findings, murder of crewmate, one, a state fined 15 pounds. Alfred Clestil, bosun, fate, torn apart, beast, findings of merit, exceptional performance of duties, a state awarded outstanding wages and reward, 70 pounds. Charles Minor, bosun's mate, fate, torn apart by a beast, criminal findings, murder of crewmate, one, estate unknown, 
Spencer's claimed fifteen pounds. Hey, it was an accidental murder. Yep. Henry Evans, surgeon. Eight, alive, Africa, findings of demerit, abandonment of crew and vessel, estate awarded outstanding wages, 50 pounds. James Wallace, surgeon's mate, fate, decapitated beast, finding his merit, extraordinary valour, estate awarded outstanding wages and reward, 50 pounds. Winston Smith, carpenter, fate, spiked, findings of merit, extraordinary valour, estate awarded outstanding wages and reward, 60 pounds. Marcus Gibbs, carpenter's mate, fate spiked, estate unknown, outstanding wages, donated to pension fund, £30. Thomas Sefton, cook, fate struck, tail, estate awarded, outstanding wages, £40. Emile O'Farrell, butcher, fate spiked, findings of merit, exceptional performance of duties, estate awarded, outstanding wages and reward, £40. Christian Wolfe, gunner, fate exploded. Findings of merit, exceptional performance of duties. Mine says shot cannon beast. Huh. A state awarded outstanding wages and reward, 70 pounds. Maybe uh, there are multiple uh, things that work for some of them? Possibly. Aleas, uh, Olas Piata, uh, gunner's mate, fate shot gun, J. Davies, criminal findings, murder of crewmate one, attempted mutiny, a state fine, 50 pounds. Duncan McKay, purser, fate, drowned, beast, findings of demerit, abandonment of crew and vessel, estate awarded outstanding wages, 50 pounds. Finley Dalton, helmsman, fate, drowned, beast, estate awarded outstanding oh, wages, 30 one. pounds. I have Finley is torn apart by a beast. Oh. Right, interesting. Edward Spratt, artist, fate, crushed, beast, estate awarded outstanding wages, 50 pounds. Abigail Hoskett, Witterall, Passenger, Fate Crushed Rigging, No Claim Made. Nunzio Pasqua, Passenger, Fate Knifed, Edward Nichols, No Claim Made. Emily Jackson, Passenger, Fate Alive, Africa, Criminal Findings, Murder of Crewmate, She Was a Passenger, Findings of Demerriment, Abandonment of Crew and Vessel, Estate Fine, £35, She Was a Passenger! She did kill somebody. <laughs> yeah, I know, but she didn't abandon the crew, she was a passenger! This Jane Bird, passenger, fate, alive, Africa, findings of demerit, abandonment of crew and vessel, estate find, ten pounds. Ah, uh, Bunlan Lim, passenger, fate, clawed, no claim made. It banks ya. Uh, fate, burned, criminal findings, murder of crewmate, one, estate unknown, expense claim, twenty-five pounds. Chiao Tan, passenger, fate, spiked, criminal findings, murder of crewmate, one, estate unknown, expenses claimed, twenty-five pounds. Hook Ling Sao, uh, Fate Shot Gun, Henry Brennan, No Claim Made. Zungi Sathi, Ship Steward, Fate Shot Guns, Charles Minor, Estate Awarded, Outstanding Wages, £35. Philip Dahl, Captain oh. Steward, Fate Unknown, Criminal Findings, Murder of Crewmate, Findings of Demerit, Failure to Perform Duties, Estate Fine, £35. Paul Moss, first mate steward, fate killed, sword, L. Volkov, findings of demerit, uh, findings of merit, exceptional performance of duties, estate awarded outstanding wages and reward, forty-five pounds. Samuel Galligan, second mate steward, fate knifed, E. I. C. Uh, criminal findings, attempted mutiny, theft of cargo, estate fined, fifty pounds. Roderick Anderson, third mate steward, fate crushed by a cannon, estate awarded outstanding wages of ten pounds. Davy James, fourth mate steward, eight alive, Africa, findings of demerit, abandonment of crew and vessel, no claim made. Peter Milroy, midshipman, fate exploded, findings of merit, extraordinary valor, estate awarded, outstanding wages and reward, forty pounds. Thomas Lanky, midshipman, fate knifed, o oh, weater, estate awarded, outstanding wages, thirty pounds. Charles Hushtick, midshipman, fate burned. Findings of merit, extraordinary valour, exceptional performance of duties, estate awarded, outstanding wages and reward, £50. Omid Ghul, Topman, fate, drowned, beast, findings of merit, exceptional performance of duties, estate awarded, outstanding wages and reward, £35. Timothy Butman, Topman, fate, shot by a gun by Edward Nichols, findings of merit, extraordinary valour, estate awarded, outstanding wages and reward, £35. Wang Li, Topman, fate electrocuted, findings of merit, good, he was at least given merit, exceptional yeah. performance of duties, estate awarded, outstanding wages, and reward, £35. 
Jeet Sang, uh, fate, uh, Topman, Fate, Decapitated, Beast, Findings and Merit, Extraordinary Valor, Estate Awarded, Outstanding Wages and Reward, £35. Li Hong, Topman, Fate, Speared, Beast, Criminal Findings, Attempted Mutiny, Theft of Cargo, Estate Fine, £50. Wei Li, Topman, Fate, Drowned, Beast, Findings and Merit, Extraordinary Valor, Exceptional Performance of Duties, Estate Awarded, Outstanding Wages and Reward, £45. Nicholas Botterell, Topman, Fate, Speared, Beast, Estate Awarded, Outstanding Wages, £25. Maba, Topman, Fate, Torn Apart, Beast, Findings of Merit, Extraordinary Valor, Exceptional Performance of Duties, Estate Unknown, Outstanding Wages and Reward, Donated to Pension Fund, £45. Lewis Walker, Topman, Fate, Clubbed, Robert Witterall, Criminal Findings, Attempted Mutiny, Estate Fine, £25. Leonard... Uh, Leonid Volkov, Topman, Fate, Shot by Gun by Edward Jackson, Criminal Findings, Murder of Crewmate 1, Estate Unknown, Expenses Claim, £15. Alarkus Nikishin, Seaman, Fate, Drowned, Beast, Criminal Findings, Attempted Mutiny, Theft of Cargo, Estate Unknown, Expense Claimed, £50. Uh, Alexei Toporov, uh, Seaman, Fate, Fell Overboard, Criminal Findings, Attempted Mutiny, Theft of Cargo, Estate Unknown, Expense Claimed, £50. Nathan Peters, Seaman, Fate, Drowned Beast, Criminal Findings, Murder of Crewmate 1, Findings of Demerit, Abandonment of Crew and Vessel, Estate Fine, £25. Lars Linder, Seaman, Fate, Clubbed, and Peters, Estate Awarded, Outstanding Wages, £15. John Naples, Seaman, Fate, Killed, Sword, F Doll, Findings of Merit, Exceptional Performance of Duties, Estate Awarded, Outstanding Wages and Reward, £25. Renfred Rajub, Seaman, Fate, Illness, Estate Unknown, Outstanding Wages Donated to Pension, Fund, £15. Abraham Akbar, Seaman, Fate, Crushed, Cannon, Findings of Merit, Exceptional Performance of Duties, Estate Awarded Outstanding Wages and Reward, £25. William Wasim, Seaman, Fate, Fell Downstairs, Findings of Merit, Exceptional Performance of Duties, Estate Awarded Outstanding Wages and Reward, £25. Solomon Syed, Seaman, Fate, Illness, Estate Awarded Outstanding Wages, £15. Um, Hamadou Diom, uh, Seaman, Fate, Spiked, Findings of Merit, Exceptional Performance of Duties, Estate Unknown, Outstanding Wages and Reward, Donated to Pension Fund, £25. Henry Brennan, Seaman, Fate, Knifed, Robert Witterall, Criminal, Findings, Murder of Crewmate 1, Attempted Mutiny, Estate Fined, £50. Alexander Booth, Seaman, Fate, Drowned, Beast, Findings of Demerit, Abandonment of Crew and Vessel, Estate Awarded Outstanding Wages, £5. Patrick O'Hagan, Seaman, Fate, Speared, Beast, Criminal Findings, Attempted Mutiny, Theft of Cargo, Estate Fined, £50. George Shirley, Seaman, Fate, Shot, Cannon, Beast, Findings of Merit, Extraordinary Valor, Estate Awarded Outstanding Wages and Reward, £25. You had exploded. Yeah. Yeah. Samuel Peters, Seaman, Fate, Crushed, Cargo, Estate Awarded Outstanding Wages, £15. Ooh, a preliminary draft of this assessment has been proved by the Royal Trade Guarantor. Total claimed, £29,285. On behalf of the Honourable East India Company, I certify all statements as accurate and declare this matter closed in its entirety. Myself, H-E-I-C Chief Inspector. It looks like Aaron Green, or Grun. <laughs> The pocket watch remains in your possession. Yay! The book returns to its original owner, Henry Evans, in Morocco, as requested. But I've not finished! Will you visit Henry? One year later! Oh, oh, hello. I have tea. Sounds like someone's at the door. Can you get up? Yeah, can we move?
A package at this hour? Ew. It gets sent. Crew of the Titanic's families were billed for the loss of uniforms. You've got to be kidding me. There's a dead body part in here. I hope not. It smells dreadful. Chief Inspector, I, will let you read. I write to you with the unfortunate news that Dr. Evans has passed away. He succumbed to his illness shortly after receiving your package. He was very pleased with your correspondence and asked that his gratitude be expressed by returning the book to you, along with the means to complete it. As for the three of us that remain, the Overdin is a distant memory and a dreadful chapter on our lives that we wish to forget. Do not write back. Regards, Jane Bird. Uh, right, so that's first? that. The role I'm or the book? The book. I, lo I looked at the book. The tale belongs to you now. Please finish it. H E. So obviously, we just want to go to chapter eight. Okay, so it doesn't have anything on it, but we can't do anything to it. So I guess we need. The... No, but we've got to go to the lazarette then. So I guess this roll here. I clicked on it. I don't know. Oh, it is a hand. I made the compass. Is that a monkey's paw? I don't or know. an actual hand? I don't know. Ooh, hello. That oh, it's a monkey. monkey! Oh, man. Hello. This guy looks a bit spiked. Third mate, Martin Parrot. Looks a bit spiked. And this guy... Henry Evans shot the monkey! And who's this guy? That's Dahl. He looks... A bit dead, but I don't know why. Ah, and then there's that swirly box. And... One of the things is open. And now it's swirling. Finally. Bargain! Ooh, monkey paw! So he seriously killed the monkey to send us the paw so we could jump into that memory? Probably not. In the lazarette, ah! a friendly but not entirely unpleasant monkey companion, or not entirely pleasant monkey companion, was sacrificed in the pursuit of knowledge. Two others were present. Paul Moss and Henry Evans. There's also two dead bodies. Where's Paul Moss then? Because I only see the two people that we hadn't named. It's obviously somewhere we can't see, but he's... Oh, I can see him now! Paul Moss is behind Henry Evans. Oh, which one did you click on? The... yeah. This guy, okay. Yeah. The mate. What's with these shells? Hoisted out. To the main deck. Throw it over. Lock the door when you leave. Get the tail, boy.
Hmm, they didn't make a very good bargain. The ship made it home, but he looks spiked. Still can't do the thing yet, can I? Oh, hello. Davy James. Paul Moss. Taking out one of the mermaid people. And I don't see anybody else here, really. So... But we'll have He's something. definitely been spiked. Yeah. Spiked by a terrible beast. Okay, next. Other guy. No, behind you. No? Ah. Oh. Dead monster. Oh, that's the captain is stabbing them all. What happened to Philip Dahl then? He's got a... He's got the shell, but he's... Well, he, yeah, he's already dead, so we don't know, do we? That... No. But that would mean that this is going to be another, like, autofill. Like, we know who it is. Um, a mermaid yeah. was killed by Robert Witterall. Yeah. Captured beast fought against its jailer and was speared for the trouble. Oh, and there's another one. Yep. But why did you die? Yes. Why did who die? Philip. Oh. Yeah. Well, we don't know yet, do we? No. Just end the memory. There's nothing else to look at. And we've got everyone else. The only other ones were unknown, and we don't do unknown. I think I know what those m refer to when they say unknown, though. I think it's just like a placeholder until we understand it. Like, we yeah. knew that that person was a steward. Yes. Fair enough. So it was actually something we could have used as a placeholder, and we just didn't think about it that way. <laughs> well, because we didn't know. No, but now we do answer. know. An unholy creature's defiant shrieks were greeted with a fatal bullet. And this should be Peter. Ah, oh, finally, Philippe. Or Dahl. Oh. Yeah. You said Peter. I don't know why I said Peter. <laughs> That's like me calling custard gravy. It sounds like he's opening the yeah the chest. Quicksilver. Sounds like he's being burned. Well, we said the 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 Formosan guy was burned when he opened yeah. the chest. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like he probably got burned. Now we just gotta wait yep. until... Uh... Now we just gotta wait for the stupid thingy! <laughs> Doesn't matter how far you go. What triggered it, yeah, I know. I think it's know. just time.
And I think it took oh, longer God. based on being in the book. Oh, possibly. He was burned! There we go. Bleep the loop. Oprah, Oprah done. done. <laughs> Solve the entire book. Two achievements left. I was going to say. I know what they are related to. Ah. And I'll bring them up because I don't remember their exact descriptions. I'm going to close the book anyway. Yeah. Ah, we've got a doorway now. I'm going to exit. Yes, through the door. So we've solved the book. Ah, now we're standing up. Okay. And we're putting the book on the shelf. Because it's solved. The so, end. the two achievements. Loosely true in the eyes of Company and Crown. It's called Captain Did It. I think you have to say, like, the captain did everything and you have to get every fate wrong. <laughs> is loosely oh. my understanding of that achievement. The other one is, leave the ship without solving all available chapters. Right. So, we have to be... silly. Uh, the walkthrough had, like, a way to do it that seemed very straightforward. Okay. So... Should, could it, should it have been done on our first playthrough, or...? The way they did it, I don't know if that was really a possibility for us. The fact that we were going to play the game properly, um, like, you fill in all the fates towards the end after you've seen all the scenes. So we'll probably have to do, like, a new playthrough, seeing every scene. Okay. But we don't have to do that on stray, and like, we could just do that. Separately. Kind of right, like we did now. with uh, Talos and yeah, uh, Bradwell. We've done one full playthrough on stream. Yep, yep. which is pretty cool. Ow! <laughs> I've been and it only on took us about eight hours. Eight, eight, eight. Yeah, eight to nine. I think the time estimate was current site estimates eight to ten. So. Yeah. Rushing through for the last achievements shouldn't take us more than a few hours. So roughly on the the schedule that the site puts it at for once. That's pretty good. We usually are a little slower. Yeah, but we had good teamwork. Yeah. Well, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I just... We're usually above estimate with the way we play Yeah, but these. we do it legit. Right. Yeah. The estimates are always with a walkthrough. I don't think that estimate would be a walkthrough estimate, though. Mm. Although, if I look at the actual estimates for completion... Oh yeah, like, there's... 8 to 10 seems to be the predominant one at 8, but there's a lot that are less. What like, does the walkthrough eight. say? The walkthrough's estimate currently says 3 to 4. Ah, right, so that's enough. how long it would take if you cheated the whole time. <laughs> we solved that legit with some guessing. Um, not it was not guessing. It was educated experimentation. <laughs> I know that's what I was saying. <laughs> Yes, they were educated guesses, but they were still guesses. <laughs> it's like, ah, this guy looks Chinese. Let's assign him one of the Chinese people's names and see what happens. I just, I, I was oh, surprised. Oh look, I got three got... Chinese people. We were, I was surprised by the fact that the, uh, the, the guy from Sierra Leone was not who we thought it was. It's, yeah. Um. Ugh. 
Good. So yeah, what did that say? Seven hours forty two minutes. Uh yeah. Oh, you can rewind. I don't know if the rewind's enough. The only problem. Okay. Because. Well, it would be enough to leave the ship without solving anything, but yeah. I mean, yeah, possibly. But what I might just do is. But we go solved from, from here. the beginning, didn't we? So. Yeah, yeah, I might just go with start from here and view all the memories and then start filling in. Yeah, I, I will do that too. Mm. Yes, but you did it solo, Leaky. I think that would have been harder solo. Yeah. It's always fun when Joe and I can bounce ideas off of each other. Yeah. Like, that's all. That's how we tackle most puzzles. Indeed. Indeed, we do. Um, so, yeah. Um, I am available tomorrow, but then I'm not free for the next two weekends. Okay. So you know, uh, but up to you. You don't have to stream tomorrow if you don't want to. Well, I'll stream. I have I no just don't skin know in the game. The solo or co-stream then. Yeah, just kind of let me know round about like half seven, my sure. time, so I can figure out what I'm doing. But otherwise, I'll be back um, definitely on Tuesday for my one stream next week, because uh, then I'm going to see my grandpa. Um, but thank you for letting me stream with you tonight, Jesse. It's yep. been really good, and I'm glad we finished this. Yeah. We all finished this gonna... up tonight. Yeah. I might lock, unlock stuff, but yeah. Um... Cool. But anyway, I've been Joe, otherwise known as Angel SK. I've been joined by Jesse, otherwise known as Radical Sniper 99. Um, thank you very much for keeping us company during this stream. Thank you for watching. And uh, I bid you good night and hand over to Jesse. I don't know if I have really anything else. I think we are done for this one. That was over. Well, I didn't know whether you were going to do any more streams. Um, I don't know. It's 5:30. Maybe I'll come back later tonight, but I think I'll take a break for a little bit. So, maybe I'll be on tonight doing more puzzles. More stained glass. More stained glass, right. Yeah. Because it's oh. going to take quite a bit. Enough. Good luck that. with that. And oh, you already went offline. Yeah. And you left the co stream. Did I? I think I did. Oh, wait, did you? No. Oh. I was trying to find the button. Oh. Had not. Now I have. Now I'm hosting you. Yeah, I saw that much. Sorry, I was just looking over something on Discord. Oh, that's cool. Different Discord than our the one we're all in. <gasps> Cheating on us with the Discord? Staff Discord. I have so much more knowledge being staff Discord. Ah, uh, 